Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider a numerical on DFT. The task is to find, compute the four point DFT of the sequence x1 of n, which is equal to 1, 1, 2, 3, and thereby find DFT of x2 of n, which is equal to 1, 3, 2, 1 using the property of DFT. They haven't said which property to use but uh, we, we have to find which property is that and later make use of that property and find the answer for uh, that. Is that okay? Uh, this numerical consists of uh, two parts. One is finding DFT of this and again finding DFT of x2 of n but making use of the property of uh, DFT. To start with, uh, let me try to find the solution, the answer for this. I would know that x of k is nothing but dft which is equal to summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n wn to the power k into n. So this is the formula to find the dft of any sequence. So here they have said it is a 4 point dft and x of n is also of length 4 hence capital N must be 4. So I would make use of that summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 which is nothing but a 3 x of n as it is wn so capital N is 4 to the power k into n is that okay so next step in the next step I would uh, substitute for n equal to 0 1 2 3 so that I can expand this summation so first let me put n equal to 0 I would get x of 0 w4 to the power 0 plus I will put x, uh, n equal to 1 I would get x of 1 w4 to the power k into 1 which is k plus I would put n equal to 2 I will get x of 2 w4 to the power k into 2 which is uh, 2k and later I would put uh, n equal to 3 I am going to get x of 3 w4 to the power k into 3 I could write it as 3k is that fine so next I can find the I can substitute the values for x of 0, 1, 2, 3 which is given in the numerical as 1, 1, 2 and 3. Therefore I would get 1 here into w4 to the power 0 is 1. So I will get next x of 1. x of 1 is 1 again and w4 to the power k plus x of 2 is 2 into w4 to the power 2k plus x of 3 is 3 w4 to the power 3k. Is that fine? So this is the expression for x of k. The next task is to find uh, the different values of x of k for k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So first let me put k equal to 0 so that I would get x of 0 equal to. What is that going to be? This is 1 plus w4 to the power 0 is 1 plus w4 to the power 0 again it is 1 into 2 plus w4 to the power 0 is 1 into 3 so which is 1 plus 1 which is 2 plus 2 4 plus 3 I'm going to get 7 as my x of 0 is that okay x of 0 is nothing but that is 7 so next what I do is I will put k equal to 1 so that I'm going to get x of 1 so in this expression consider the same expression in that put k equal to 1 I'm going to get 1 plus w4 to the power 1 plus 2 times w4 to the power 2 plus 3 times w4 to the power 3 into 1. Is that okay? So if you know the value for w4 to the power 1, 2, 3, just substitute the value so that you will get the answer. So how do I know the values? So those values I know it using the concept of fiddle factors. So which is w4 to the power 0 is 1, w4 to the power 1 is minus j, w4 to the power 2 is nothing but minus 1, w4 to the power 3 is nothing but plus j. So this, this concept comes from the knowledge of fiddle factor. So I already have made uh, one of the videos uh, uh, on how to find the values of fiddle factor for n equal to 4 and n equal to 8 as well. So I would recommend you to watch that video and come back here for the better understanding. So next I'll just put the values and uh, get the answer. This is 1. W4 to the power uh, 1 is minus j. So I would get 1 minus j here. Uh, W4 to the power 2 which is minus 1 into 2 I'm going to get minus 2 and uh, W4 to the power 3 is uh, plus j. I'm going to get 3j. Is that okay? So this is 1 minus 2 is minus 1 plus 2j. 
So this is going to be x of 1. Is that okay? So this is how I get x of 1. Similarly, what I do is I'll put k equal to 2 and uh, try to get x of 2. If I put k equal to 2, I'm going to get x of 2 in this expression. This is 1 plus w4 to the power k is 2 now. So I'm going to get w4 to the power 2. 2 times w4 to the power 2 into 2, I'm going to get 4 plus 3 times w4 to the power 3 into 2, I'm going to get 6. Let's just substitute the value. This is 1. w4 to the power 2 is nothing but minus 1. w4 to the power 4. I don't know how to find this. I have to make use of the periodicity property. So k varies from 0, 1, 2, 3. Anything that falls after that, I'll just write it below something like this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm looking for w4 to the power 4. W4 to the power 4 is nothing but W4 to the power 0, which is nothing but 1. Is that fine? Uh, 1 into 2. So ultimately I would get here as 2, as the answer. And W4 to the power 6 is nothing but W4 to the power 2. W4 to the power 2 is minus 1 into 3. I am going to get minus 3. So plus 1, minus 1 would cancel. 2 minus 3 is nothing but minus 1. Therefore, ultimately, I would get x of 2 as minus 1. Is that okay? Similarly, put k equal to 3 so that I would get x of 3. So, what is that x of 3 going to be? Just uh, consider the expression and uh, put in that expression as k equal to 3, which was that expression. Here it is 1 plus w4 to the power 3 plus next term is 2 times w4 to the power 2k 2 times w4 to the power 2k 2 into 3 because k is 3 I'm going to get 6 plus 3 times w4 to the power I hope it is 3k yes 3k it is 3 into k is 3 3 into 3 it is 9 so this is what I'm going to get now so this is 1 plus w4 to the power 3 this is a j and uh, w4 to the power 6 is nothing but w4 to the power 2. w4 to the power 2 is nothing but minus 1 into 2 minus 2. Simple. w4 to the power 9. w4 to the power 9 is nothing but w4 to the power 5. w4 to the power 5 is nothing but w4 to the power 1. And w4 to the power 1 is nothing but minus j into 3. I am going to get minus 3j. Is that okay? So if I simplify this, I'm going to get 1 minus 2 is nothing but minus 1 plus j minus 3j. I'm going to get minus 2j. Is that okay? So this is what x of 3 is. So ultimately I have to sum up everything and uh, write everything as x of k equal to. So I'll consider all the values x of k is equal to the first value x of 0. x of 0 is nothing but here it is 7. So I'll write it first, x of 0 is 7, then I have, I need to write x of 1, x of 1 is nothing but minus 1 plus 2j. So I'll write that, minus 1 plus 2j. Then I need to write x of 2, x of 2 is nothing but, here it is minus 1, minus 1 and ultimately I have got x of 3, x of 3 is nothing but minus 1 minus 2j. So this is the final uh, four point DFT x of k for the given x of n. So it is uh, supposed to be x1 of n, hence the ultimate answer is x1 of k is equal to this is. So what is the next part? So, so far we have found only the first part. The second part is this. Find the DFT of x2 of n which is equal to 1, 3, 2, 1 using the property of DFT. So which property I have to use now? Uh, to get that, just let me draw x1 of n onto a circle. So if I do that, so for example, I'll just draw a simple circle. I'll just make use of the different uh, color for the better understanding. Then, as I said, it is a four point DFT. So this is the x1 of n, 1, here it is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So if I read it clockwise, I'm going to get x1 of n. So for example, read it this way. I'm going to get x2 of n, which is 1, 3, 2, 1. 
here I am going to get x2 of n. Uh, this is nothing but circularly folded sequence. x2 of n is nothing but x1 of minus n. Is that okay? Therefore, I can make use of the circular folding property and I can find the answer for that. To find the second part, it is observed that x2 of n, x2 of n is nothing but x1 of minus n. So, minus n I would write it with double parenthesis which means that this uh, folding is nothing but circular in nature. Is that okay? So, how do I find the DFT of that? Take the DFT on both sides. I am going to get x2 of k. What is x2 of k? Which is turns out to be x1 of minus k. Is that okay? We already know what is x1 of k. Finding x1 of minus k is very easier. Again, I can make use of the concept of circle and I can find uh, its circularly folded sequence. So, how do I find that answer? So, again, let me draw one simple circle. So, I would draw a circle and now I would indicate x1 of k onto this circle. So, here it is a four point uh, sequence. I would write four points onto a circle x1 of k. Here it is. So, just write the four points. This is 7. Here I have minus 1 plus 2j. Here I have minus 1. Here I have minus 1 minus 2j. Is that okay? So, if I read it this way, I am going to get x1 of uh, k. So, I am going to get x1 of k. If I read it this way, I am going to get x1 of minus k. x1 of minus k is nothing but x2 of k. This is what I am looking now. Therefore, ultimately, I would write the final answer x2 of k is equal to read it anticlockwise. This is 7. This is minus 1 minus 2j. Then I have minus 1. And lastly, I am going to get minus 1 plus 2j. So, how did I find the answer? I could find this answer making use of circular folding property of DFT, which is also known as time reversal of a sequence. Hope the numerical is clear. I have solved everything step by step. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I will definitely answer those uh, doubts. Is that okay? So, meanwhile, subscribe to the channel NG Classes for uh, more interesting videos on digital signal processing. Thank you everyone for watching.